We have 22-year-old Roman here. He has not slept for eight years. One of my specialties is treating patients with sleep deficiencies. You're gonna watch him get an exam here. You're gonna see some x-rays with scoliosis and a high neck reversal. And you're gonna see him get better with my method. Check it out. Okay, look, I just woke up. Roman, I am 22 and I'm a manager slash student. And so why are you here, sir? Uh, sleep, that's the number one thing. How long since you not slept? Uh, for like seven, eight years. How long have you been watching my channel? Uh, since before COVID. Why it takes so long to come in here? Uh, it's pretty expensive for one, and then two, I finally realized I need some sleep. How much sleep do you get a night? On the average, like five, six hours. I don't really toss and turn. I just wake up every so often, like every two hours or so. And you're exhausted in the morning all the time, right? Yeah. If he left this untreated, this will definitely turn into anxiety, which he probably already admits he has anxiety. Yeah. Uh, even though he looks mild matter, he, he knows he has it. Yeah. Uh, but left untreated anxiety long enough, then it turns into depression. And then left that, un, uh, left that long enough, then it turns into a thing called fibromyalgia. And so all these things are just next level things when you don't have sleep. So this is one of the most important things I can give this guy back. And he is gonna sleep like a baby after this. And he's probably really excited. Uh, exactly really excited. I hope so. Headaches? He doesn't even care about these headaches. Uh, how often do you get them? Uh, every day. Dizzy, how often? Uh, pretty often too, like every day. He doesn't give a shit about the headaches or the vertigo. The he sleep. only cares about the sleep. Anyways, good, right on. How much pain are you back there, sir? Like a six. How much there? Six, seven. Like I'm gonna adjust his neck to fix his sleep and his pain. How much pain there? Not much pain. Tight. Tight, like, like an eight out of 10. How much tight is there or pain? Nothing, like a two. How much tension in your back, your knees? Everything, like a seven. Well, I do this for you guys so you can see the before and after because it's really important to see a visual of what's going on. But again, the real test is him sleeping. So how many other chiropractors have you seen on the internet talk about sleep at all? He says, none. His x-rays, neck is really reversed, atlas is really worn. Uh, it's a high reversal like most people who have these uh, sleep issues. Okay, here are the x-rays. 18 millimeter imbalance, 23 millimeter lower right shoulder, and 14 degree scoliosis. Here we have four millimeter right short leg and a 16 millimeter pelvic rotation. One third atlas wear and a very, very high neck reversal here. Sway back and constipation. The great thing is that he's young. And why is that important? He doesn't have any arthritis yet. He doesn't have permanent muscle memory that makes it more difficult for me to change him. He's a, he's a sponge, he's a smart guy, so he wants to change. If he waited 20 more years and said, oh, I haven't slept in 27 years, it's much harder to change a crazy person at 57, or 50 years old than it is at 22 years old. Yeah. So anyways, if you have problems, come in sooner than later, guys. Super, super tender. Really? Yeah. And so I am on a suboccipital a scale of one to 10, what is it tenderness-wise? Eight. And so I can see on an x-ray, and I can feel it on the patient, and the patient can feel it back. So when I get him in the right position, we're gonna adjust right through that reverse curve that you guys saw on the x-ray a second ago. Okay, let it go, Roman, let it go. Yeah, see? How much do you self-adjust me? <laughs> yeah, lot. we talked about that, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when you guys hear that crack before I crack him, <laughs> it's always because of self-adjusting, guys. Like I just woke up. All those, all those self adjustments didn't help. He's much looser on this side, guys. Way looser. Woo! Likey. <laughs> Helping Roman up here because they're always a little bit dizzy after the first adjustment. We're also reminding him not to twist and turn or he will undo my work. Let's check in to see how he's doing. I'm not really thinking about my breathing, but it just came to my attention. I, I feel like my breaths are deeper. Just more focus on everything. You already feel more focused too. Like it feels brighter in here. Okay, walkie walkie down the holly holly to recalibrate the spine. Let's check in with you. You noticing different about your walk at all? Lighter. Lighter? lighter. So much lighter and I'm pretty lighter already. <laughs> Stay right there. The tension in my neck is just much, 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 much more lighter. Yeah, and that's not something you even thought that was even an issue before. Yeah, uh, a little bit jittery. Do I hear a wow, baby? Do I hear a hallelujah? There's nothing there. Do I hear a hallelujah? <laughs> He's so cocky. He's so cocky. Why? How can he talk like that? Because I see it all the time, guys. Is that crazy? Yeah. Oh, yeah, nothing. Is that crazy? Yeah. Did I touch your back? No. 
That was an eight out of ten tension. Take a four. That was a two, but that's probably nothing now. You didn't touch anything below your neck. I feel flexible. And what about that tension? You said it was tight all over. Nah, not really. What do you think? It worked. You think you're in the right spot? For think, sure. Think you're gonna sleep like a baby tonight? Yeah, I will. He has to go to work. I feel so bad for him. He's gonna be like this. Just for a couple hours. He's gonna be like, yeah. dude, I'm so tired. <laughs> he goes, give me another chicken nugget. <laughs> I need to wake up. I need more sugar. Roman, you had one adjustment. Tell us how what your experience with that one adjustment is. Sleep, sleep, sleep. I uh, slept so much better. Uh, yeah. Just less pain throughout the day as well. Less yeah. stiffness everywhere. Less stiffness, right? After eight years of not sleeping, how much better? Like an eight. That Strong much better. Eight, yeah. Strong eight, I love it. What do you think about chiropractic? Uh, I, I would say it's not just the body. Uh, there's so much more to the brain and just your nervous system that, I love it. that was affected. He missed his appointment yesterday, by the way. Why? Overslept. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Literally, he mentioned, I'm sorry, dude, I missed yeah. it. I'm sorry, I overslept. I'm like, overslept. Daily headaches? Uh, reduced. I mean, I still have it, but like, it wouldn't hurt for as long as it would before. So every day you're dizzy. Uh, I honestly didn't feel dizzy the last few days. Yeah, every day you were dizzy before, right? Yeah. Yeah. How's the anxiety? Uh, it's still there, just, just a little bit muted. Calm, right? yeah. Tell us about the explosion of sensation you had. Yeah. Uh, just everything I ate, I could, I could taste much better. I didn't know that like flavors I, I couldn't taste, <laughs> but I couldn't taste. Yeah. I so does Cane's taste, taste better or worse now that you have more flavor? I gotta hear this. Uh, I mean, it always tastes good to me. <laughs> exactly. Uh, yeah. Smoking like a true employee. Caniac sauce, did that taste different? Yeah, yeah, it did. <laughs> it did. I could taste more of the spice. Tell us about the vision. And yeah, I uh, just felt like everything seemed brighter. Not overstimulated, but yeah, it just felt yeah. brighter. Cool, right? Yeah. Good. Yeah, can you guys tell he looks much more refreshed in the picture? He looks like a kind of a different person. His face doesn't look quite as exhausted. <laughs> But um, I love when you see the eyes. You see the eyes. Yeah. Right here. <laughs> Even the peanut gallery heard that one. <laughs> it's pretty flexible, so we gotta take all the flexibility out. Look at you, you got canes on your feet, too. Yeah. The, the charms. <laughs> the charms. <laughs>